How's it going, everybody? Well, early today. I want to give some small dating advice for like some Christian dudes out here. Um, so for one, I feel like the Christian dating market, uh, we're really good at teaching people to be, to have a career, to have some financial stability, but we, we don't really teach them about like, like the physical side of things. And my thing, my issue is just that like, it's kind of like the concept of you're being too heavily minded to be any earthly good. Now, I have to also admit that like, we do have eyes, we do see stuff. And we're told, we're we're constantly told uh, on the outside, like be wary of temptation. Don't, don't pursue youth, don't pursue youthful lust. Don't pursue lust in general, all that good stuff. But we forget, like, yeah, some of these Christian girls, there's dudes out here who pursue Christian women and they do it. Let's be honest, by virtue of their beauty, like cause some of them are very beautiful, and then some of them they talk to them a lot. And um, sometimes, sorry, I have another thought, and that's just in regards to like status. But um, one of my one of my forms of advice is just um, learn to speak, and you can do that by like speaking to people a lot, learning it to just communicate, be a better communicator. Uh, even going on YouTube, learning to communicate. Another step is to learn to be comfortable in your own skin. And when I do mean comfortable, I do mean like you don't, when you see somebody, you don't compare yourself to them and you don't feel like, oh man, you know, I don't know if I could like really talk to this person. Or I don't know if I can uh, really, if they'll give me a chance. It's like, no, you be confident, be um, patient, you know, and just be yourself because if if you're nervous and you don't believe in yourself and you feel insecurity and you feel weak, that's going to essentially project to the other person. And if you if you can show a sense of confidence, again, that will leak off to the other person. And people like uh, confidence. People like when people are comfortable. So when you can communicate that it gives it puts them at ease. If you are just nervous, this nervous wreck, you know, and I, I am. I have done that, but that as you've learned. You learn that people, sorry, I'm exhausted. So if my face feels, you know, looks a little puffy and stuff like that, that's the reason. Then that's the reason. Third reason, hygiene. Um, Not too sure why this isn't a thing, but um, you need to get your hygiene together. Not understand in the, in the scriptures, it does say that like man, God looks at the heart, but we're still human, you know, so, and our bodies are still functioning and, I get it. If after you left like a, a fifty thousand hour shift, you know you don't you don't smell the freshest. You don't uh you don't look the the best. But your appearance is just is really important. And um and I, I get it that you're not supposed to look overly grandiose, but your appearance still matters. Fifth comment. Um, I was gonna mention this in another video, but I'll still run it as maybe I'll call it a four point five. And that's color theory. Whenever I'm dressing up, I always refer to my color theory, my little color wheel. So here's a small, very small lesson. So you can tell from here, these are colors, you know, that color. These colors across from each other are called complementary colors, which means they do go together. But if you, wanna, if you don't want to look like a cartoon character, you'll always have one of them that's a main color and one of them that's like a, like a bit lighter, like an accent. And you'll, you'll have it be to be saturated, which is like watered down. Another thing is you can make them into, what is that, tertiary colors? Um, but again, you have to have a main color. You have to have some accents, and which means you got to saturate. Uh, you're going to go with one main color. Make sure you're not being confusing. And, um, and so I base my stuff off that whenever I, I dress up these days. So... Knowledge and wisdom, you know, you know what it says in Proverbs, you know, bind, bind it to your neck, you know, learn to dress more competently. All right. And um, I guess a five thing. Yeah, this is going to be really important. Five. Treat women with normalcy, normalcy, normalcy. Am I saying it right? Treat women with some normalcy. Now, here's what I mean. And this is going to be super important. When you see women, um, if you, the Christian audience should know about this. Stop idolizing women. Like, like really stop idolizing. I, I get it. Visually, they're pretty. 
but we have a thing such as um, the lust of the eyes, you know, which is, you know, you get attracted to what you see, the lust of the flesh, which is attracted to their body and the pride of life. Now, I'm still figuring out what that is, but um, those two have been very important. And, I, you know, of course, the pride of life matters to you. Um, and if you get if you get so drawn and enticed by a person's looks that you can't figure out what their character is, that's a problem. And um, when we see um, women, just Christian women, they're regular women. And I, I can, I'm going to speculate in a general, very general sense that women, they're, they're very generally similar, very generally similar. So I'm going to say going to say this very generally the same. They're very generally the same. So women, as far as I understand, they don't want to be put on a pedestal. They just want to be treated like a regular human with respect and dignity. And one of the ways you could do that is by stop glorifying women and stop treating them like an idol. Women will not solve your problems with um, feeling emotionally fulfilled. That should be Jesus. Um, and so as far as I understand, they should be your partner. You know, it should be um, some people want to say, help me. It doesn't matter. Not really. You both are going to be mutually submitting to one another in marriage anyway. So I mean, in your own special way. So like I just have to tell dudes, really, please learn how to speak. Um, learn how to get your hygiene up. And that's that's not always hard. Um, and I'll get a video for specifically hygiene because I think that's very important. Um, learn how to dress better. I get it. I'm in a little plain white t-shirt. I just got up. Um, learn how to um, dress competently um, and uh, learn how to undeify women. Stop making women gods. Stop making women to be like higher than they really are. It's like the Bible says, do not think any highly of yourself than you ought to. So have some dignity for yourself. Have some sort of self-worth. Um, don't believe yourself to be trash. Recognize that Christ died for you. Um, recognize uh, the value in that, you know, because we live by faith, not by uh, works. And we, uh, we we live by faith, not through sight. But you still are in the world, not of the world. So you still have to operate to a degree like uh, it's like when, it, when in Rome, do what the Romans do. So you have to start dressing competently. Now, does your appearance ultimately matter? No, it doesn't. But the bi biological component to a degree matters, you know, you have to you have to learn how to uh, dress well, have to learn how to have your hygiene together. You have to uh, be very important. Actually, I'm going to wait for another video for that. Um, but like, like really, really make sure these these basic things again, the Christian women are doing it for the most part. And um, and I don't I don't think women who fail to do this, I, I don't think women who fail to do this will get get attention. Um. And so I have to say that, like, I think that's important. Now, mind you, oh man, I really want to use the book of Ruth. Um, yeah, I'll use this, the book of Ruth. Now, if anybody looks at the book of Ruth, we, um, I don't know if we missed this, but Ruth was young. She was young, a beautiful woman. You could tell at the very end because uh, Boaz was really happy because he said, like, she's, she could have gotten a younger person. And she could have gotten a, a richer person. But she chose Boaz to be her family redeemer, which is a dude who will take care of her and her, um, I think, take care of like uh, the next person in line who was supposed to marry her. You know, he's he was in the same family line. Uh, I guess that's how it, it happened. And he was going to take care of her and her family. So he had money. He has some financial stability. And, um, but he was older, you know, but something something made her choose him. And um I got another thing that I really want to show, but, um, yeah, it's just like, yeah, he has things that people are looking for. Um, and she was pretty, you know, she was young. And so I'm not saying the opposite, you know, if people are not so attractive or older that they can't find somebody. I think anybody can find somebody. You just need to be competent about it. But yeah, like your, your character matters a lot. Your character matters a lot, but on the other end, the visual stuff matters a lot too. So, I mean, I, I definitely encourage people to hit up the gym. Um, sorry, if there's a, a bonus one, the gym, please uh, learn to love the gym. Learn to love the gym. Don't You don't have to get in there <clears throat> with your gym buddies and like really go hard. And then you feel sore for two days and you feel unmotivated to come back. Like work at your own pace, figure out what you can do. Learn to push yourself, and, uh, learn to maximize your potential and be the best person you can be. And, um, I think another bonus one is learn to, uh, to set proper boundaries. And, um, 
because Christian or not, some, some people, we, we still are in the flesh. So we still have fleshly problems. So sometimes you might have somebody who isn't, um, who isn't the most, um, Christian sometimes. And you have to kind of be kind enough to pull them aside. Like the Bible says, pull them aside and kind of, kind of talk to them a little bit, you know, and be gracious in your correction. Um, cause all, all this stuff is building up to be a, a impressive, competent man who happens to be Christian. I have to say so that's all. That's what I have to say. Um, I just want to give more dating advice because I see a lot of they say there's a there's a whole there's a vacancy. There's a whole bunch of women who want to be married and there's not a lot of dudes. And I honestly do believe that uh, we spiritualize a practical issue. And I can't I don't know what marriage is like. I just know, like, what will be good in terms of dating and t instead of just bumbling around wondering like yo I, I don't know what to do i just want to equip young christian brothers to like okay these are ways that'll help you in a data market um so yeah i guess that's it i gave you like my five ones maybe like a point five so it could be like a six and then i gave you some bonus ones so i hope that helps all right bye